Continuing on with my top 5 weapon videos, today I bring you what in my opinion are the top 5 best SMGs in this game. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. As per usual, this is just my opinion, so please tell me your top 3 SMGs in the game right now with your favourite. Let me know them down below in that comment section. Okay, so getting into my list of top 5 must get SMGs are... In at number 5, we have nothing other than the Night Hawking. Now the Night Hawking is an original OG SMG which I did use from the get go. Now I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even realise for days upon using this that its elemental effect did indeed change. If you have no idea why I'm talking about, this SMG as you can see by its stat card is Cryo. But when that daytime turns to nighttime, this weapon turns into an incendiary weapon, which is just amazing. Now the weapon itself is actually really good. Going from this to other SMGs, you can 100% feel the difference, even if it seems said SMGs you switch to look better on paper. In most instances, that won't be the case. Now, using the weapon, you probably won't realise it, but with each hit, it increases its elemental effect to chance, and there's also no delay between bursts if you switch to its second firing mode of burst. Now this SMG is a specific drop to two rare bosses, the demo Scraggins within the Droughts and Rackman upon Carnivora. Now I doubt unless you are new to this game you haven't come across this already, but even if you have, give it another try, it might just surprise you. Ok so moving on, and in at number 4 we have the Iron Laser. Now the Iron Laser is a weapon I reviewed a while back upon its first release into the game with the latest DLC Moxie's Heist. Within my review video I compared it to the Splodo Assault Rifle for the simple fact of this being very similar weapon in the way it works. It's like a smaller Ghostbusters gun with that beam of energy. In that video I don't believe I rated it as high as I should have because since that video I have had better versions drop and I can say I'm liking it way more now than I did in the past. It's a monster of a weapon for sure. Now the iron laser drops aboard the handsome jackpot and it can drop from any enemy but it's dedicated drop is the evil saint lawrence crew challenge. So this SMG switches between two elements and it can drop offering two of all four elements in the game. It also upon holding that trigger down fires projectiles that do extra damage and it's actually great great damage. You can fire up to 6 of these projectiles depending on the length of time you hold down that trigger. 3 seconds I believe or just over fires a max of 6 of these projectiles. But it does have a party trick which in fact might be just a bug or a glitch. If you hold down that trigger for 3 seconds, release and then spam the trigger it spawns multiple shots of those projectiles. And like I said, those projectiles do massive damage. So this new Maliwan edition is a great SMG, one I insist you definitely give a try. Ok so let's move on, and in at number 3 we have nothing other than Tsunami. Now this weapon is an SMG I have loved since first getting my hands on it. It's super unique, it's off the radar and I actually don't understand why not many people use it. The Tsunami is a monster of a weapon and besides a certain few I feel this thing definitely is up there with the most efficient DPS of any SMG in the game. Now the Tsunami's dedicated boss drop is the Katagawa Ball upon Skyworld 27 and it is well worth your time trying to land this beast. Now the Tsunami drops with many different variants but the weapon as a base doesn't have an elemental effect on that stat card but upon firing its massive magazine, it periodically fires additional rounds of shock and corrosive shots, which come out in bursts of 5. Bullets also ricochet once. Now what this does is make this weapon absolutely obliterate armour and shielded guys, like nothing else a single SMG in this game can do. Now although I haven't got the perfect version of this to fit my Winter Soldier Zane build, I'm on the lookout for one. I need one which is anointed to Zane with the Sentinel anointment. While Sentinel is active you gain like 50% additional elemental damage. I need one of those in my life people if you have one and play an Xbox please 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 let me know. You can hit me up on my discord linked within the video description or send me a message on Xbox to I am DPJ. Ok so let's move on and in at number 2 guys we have the Redistributor. Now the Redistributor was originally a rare weapon rewarded early on in the BR3 campaign from the mission The Impending Storm. Now I don't remember getting this weapon at all, 
If I did, I probably just disregarded it. More for me. So going into using this new legendary, I wondered why they brought it back. And it wasn't long before I sussed it. It's because this thing is just too good to be a rare weapon. It deserves to be a legendary 100%. Now on paper this thing looks great, in battle it's much much better though, and it's party trick is, every 7th shot is amped, amped shots chain to nearby enemies. This does some serious damage too, and I believe it can chain up to 3 enemies per amped shot. Now I originally built my Zane build, the Winter Soldier build, with this variant of this weapon in mind, to play on Mayhem 4, and this SMG just absolutely destroys all that stands in its way. It's utterly amazing. Now I will admit, this probably isn't the most powerful weapon on this list, and others I've covered already like the Tsunami definitely in my opinion have a better DPS, but there's just something about this which I just don't get elsewhere. Now this weapon is exclusive to the Valkyrie squad and Walton within a takedown at the Mellowman Blacksite Raid. Now it is one of the more popular drops it seems, well in my case it was anyway. So yeah guys, the redistributor is definitely a weapon I insist you at least trying out if you haven't already. So let's move on, and guys my number one SMG in the game is a weapon that's been here since the get go, it's already received a nerf, but even still it still remains in my opinion the most powerful SMG in the game, and that is the Cutsman. Now the thing about the Cutsman is, using other SMGs with certain builds you surprise yourself with how powerful some are, but using the same build with the Cutsman, you see like a 50% damage increase, it's just utterly brutal. Now this weapon is one of the first I actually uploaded a video on after BR3 came out. In that video I mentioned the fact of how powerful this weapon was. I think I got it at like a level 23 going into the game and went on to continue using it fighting enemies double that level and still it just destroyed everything in its path. It since then received a 25% damage nerf I believe but it just does not make a difference. The weapon is still super super powerful. Now the Cutsman's dedicated boss drop is Borman Nates who is located upon the Meridian outskirts. It drops offering incendiary, corrosive and shock. Corrosive is the only one I am missing here. Again, like the Tsunami, I love one anointed to the Sentinel and Zane. If you have one, you know where to hit me up. Now I won't mislead you, the Cutsman requires a certain player star to use. If you jump in face to face with anointed enemies and think you are going to one pop them, that just isn't going to happen. This weapon is best used over a short to medium range, allow those bolts and projectiles to slightly spread. This is his ultimate DPS method, because once they start spreading anything in that path, just gets obliterated. So yeah guys, the Cutsman in my opinion is the best SMG in this game so far. And there we have it, my top 5 SMGs all together. People tell me down below in that comment section, which is your most used and go to SMG and why. And on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.